I've been making a sculpture that I brought with me from Australia. Uh, it's a sculpture made of uh, door frames and uh, I used the door as a metaphor for uh, opportunities and uh, challenge in our life. As in the fairy tales or yeah, in the history about the door, it's open but you don't know what to expect on the other side. And here in this sculpture you end upside down. The door is twisting, it's 60 door frames attached to each other. So it's more like in one minute, 60 seconds, your life can change totally. It came from Australia in a container. It has been uh, on the way at the ocean for 60 days. And then when the trailer, the truck came here with the container, the, it was quite large. So it was a puzzle how to get it out of the container. And we needed to ask one of the farmers nearby to have come here with a, a forklift or a, a special uh, car and we lifted them out of the container and then on the ground and put them here. So it was quite complicated. I like this uh, way of seeing the artwork because you have yeah, the curve and the forms. Uh, the shape is really good and also because you can see the house. Uh, you have the connection with the doors at the house and, and also the stone and the wood and the garden with all the trees. I never participated in a private garden before, so this is uh, very new. We don't have this kind of uh, sculpture uh, festivals in Norway. We have some public uh, sculpture festival in Oslo. I think that's the only, only one and that's the Biennale too. But uh, like this, uh, it's very special. Hopefully people will, um, they will relate it to their own life. They can reflect why does she use a door frame, but they don't have to complicate it. it. They can just see it as a form and a shape. And if they want, they can see, oh, it's a door frame. Why did, uh, why did she put it upside down? And they can think and reflect about it. I don't give any keys, the door that you have to open yourself and yeah.